Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm going to show you how I made a Game Boy cake. I'm taking some molding putty and I'll use it to mold the buttons, D-pad, and the speaker, and then I'll sculpt my cake. And done. What I really like about this cake is that, like the Game Boy, it's pocket sized. Well, pocket sized if you have giant 90s pockets, at least. It's pretty crazy when you realize how much bigger an old Game Boy is than like a cell phone, but it only has like this tiny fraction of the capability. The molds usually take about 20 minutes to set, and then when they're ready, I just go ahead and I peel them off. What's really nice about this stuff is it doesn't make a mess on whatever you're making a mold of, and I'm really happy about that because that means I don't have to sacrifice my old Game Boy. I've rolled out some modeling chocolate and I covered it in Game Boy Gray, and I'm covering the cake and trimming away the edges. After a quick smooth, I flip the cake over and I tuck the chocolate underneath the cake. I just gather those edges, I give it a pinch, and then I trim away the excess. Then I flip the cake back over, and obviously I got a little bit of junk on here that I'm gonna pick off with a blade. So I actually found this very Game Boy tucked away in my brother's old closet while I was visiting my parents' house. So when I saw it, I immediately remembered being a kid and having to share the Game Boy with my brother while we were on like road trips. <laughs> So I'm just going around with my knife and I'm etching some panels around the sides and then I'll start sculpting the details. While I'm doing that, I wanna give a shout out to our new Subscribestar member, Jay Schneider Books. Thank you so much for becoming a member. If you'd like to get a shout out and your name in the credits at the end of every video, then head over to subscribestar.com slash sidesurfcakes. And if you like this video, please consider leaving a like and hitting the subscribe button. That little click really helps us reach more people and helps the channel grow, and it is much appreciated. Now, fortunately for me, the screen of my old Game Boy just falls right off. <laughs> so I could just pop it off, and then I'll use it to make a stencil on a piece of parchment paper. Of course, I could do this if the screen was still attached, but since it comes off anyway, it's even easier. I just follow my scored lines with a sculpting tool and a blade, and then it's time to paint. So there's not a ton of color on the Game Boy, but when I start painting the screen, it really starts to pop for me. Like, the screen color of the Game Boy is very dated, and it's just extremely iconic. What's really kind of crazy is that even in 1989 when this came out, the screen was already behind the technology that was available at the time. The Game Boy also ran on an outdated chip, so that makes it even more impressive that it lasted as long as it did. Finally, I'm going to use my mold to make my buttons. Now I could cut these out by hand, but the mold just makes it the absolute perfect button size. For the start and select buttons, I'm also using modeling chocolate, but instead I'm rolling it out into a coil, and then I gently place those buttons right onto the cake. And for some added fun, I have some gelatin that I'm going to add to the screen to make it look nice and realistic. And there you have it, a Game Boy cake. Now let's cut it. It's like cutting a slice of my childhood. 